In the following video, I will show you how to answer question 9 of the January 2011 OCR Call 4 Pass paper. Again, a, que a question on solving differential equations. Let's take a look. Um, it tells us about paraffin being stored in a tank. At time t, the depth of the tank is x centimetres. So I'll just um, write down x represents depth of tank and t represents time. It tells us an important fact. It tells us when t is 0, x is 72. So when t is 0, x is 72. That's to say, at the start of this process, there is uh, 72 centimetres of paraffin in the tank. The, the t uh, there is a tap on the side of the tank through which paraffin can flow. The tap is open and the flow of paraffin is modelled by the following differential equation. That's telling us that the depth of the tank is decreasing at the following variable rate um, and so we've got a differential equation. It asks us how long does it uh, how long does it take for the paraffin to fall uh, from a depth of 72 to a depth of 35 centimetres. It's going to involve solving this differential equation to get x as a function of time. Let's do that by uh, separating variables and integrating. Everything with x on the left hand side, everything with t on the right hand side and integrate. I'm going to divide both sides by x minus 8 to the third and times both sides by dt. So I'm going to get 1 over x minus 8 to the a third, which is simply x minus 8 to the minus a third dx okay, is equal to minus 4 uh, dt, and I'm integrating both sides. So I'm integrating that, and I'm integrating that. Okay, let's integrate this. Add 1 to the power and divide. We simply get x minus 8. Okay, add 1 to the power you get 2 thirds, and divide by the 2 thirds, you end up getting 3 over 2. And on this side, I will simply get um, a t. So I'm going to get minus 4t, and plus a constant of integration, which I'll call um, c. Now you know when t was 0, x is 72. So now what you could do is sub in t equals 0, x equals 72, into this here. If t is 0, this disappears, and this tells us that c is 72 minus 8, which is 64 to the 2 thirds. So 64 to the 2 thirds is 16, and 16 times 3 over 2 is 24. So this tells us automatically, when we put in 72 in this side, we get c is 24. So the particular solution to this differential equation is 3 over 2, x minus 8, to the two thirds is equal to uh, minus four t plus twenty four. Okay, so it wants us to work out the time it takes to fall from x is seventy two to x is thirty five. So we need to find t when x is seventy two and x is thirty five. So let's uh, let's put in x is equal to seventy two in here we would get 72 minus 8. Oh, sorry. Um, just thinking about this, it tells us at the start that x is 72 and t is 0. So we know that. We know the time uh, at this point. If we stick in uh, 72, all of this turned out to be 24. Uh, so t was 0 at this time. So t was 0 at the first time. There was no need to work that out. But what we do have to work out is uh, substituting in x is equal to 35. If we do that, 35 minus 8 is 27. 27 to the 2 thirds is 9, and times that by 3 over 2, you get 27 over 2. So this side, you get 13.5 is equal to minus 4t plus 24. Rearranging, minus 4t would be 13.5 take away 24, which is 10, uh, minus 10.5, so this would be minus 10.5, and dividing by minus 4, you would get t is equal to uh, 21 over 8. 
So t is equal to 21 over 8 seconds, and that's 2.625, 2 um, seconds. Okay, the next part tells us that we refill the tank to 72, then open it up. How long does it take before um, the paraffin stops flowing out? Now, I'm just going to go back to my original slide and I'm going to um, copy this and paste this onto this side. Paste. I'm just going to take a look at that. I'm also going to take a look at my original differential equation here. Now, the height of the paraffin is changing. Uh, with respect to time. The key value here is 8, okay? When x gets to 8, it goes to 0, so the rate of change is 0 at this point. Again, looking at my solution of the differential equation here, uh, x is 8 is the key here, because if it's below that, then this becomes negative. So, the key thing to think about here is to really, was to look back at this original here, and to realise that this is 0, dx by dt is 0, when x equals 8, okay? So you really wanted to spot that dx by dt is equal to 0, i.e. the paraffin stopped flowing, when x equals 8. So you sub x is 8 into this equation, and you get 0 is minus 4t plus 24. Subtract 24 off both sides, you get minus 24 is minus 4t. Divide both sides by minus 4t, you get t is equal to 6. And that is your answer to this question. Thank you for um, watching this video and listening. I hope you found it useful in your revision for Core 4.